हेलो एवरी वन माई नेम इज मिनी सेठी आई होप यू ऑल आर स्टेंग हेल्दी टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट बुक नेम्ड द पावर ऑफ अ पॉजिटिव मोम दिस बुक इज रिटर्न बाय कैरो लैड बींग अ मोम वी ऑल नो सम टाइम इट वेरी ईजी टू बी अ पॉजिटिव पर्सन बट देयर आर ऑल्सो टाइम वेन देर इज नो सो ईजी टू बी अ पॉजिटिव बींग अ पॉजिटिव मोम डजेंट मीन वी हैव टू बी परफेक्ट नीदर आर सरकमस्टांसिस नोर आर पीपल एवर परफेक्ट as a mom we all make mistakes sometimes we forget things sometimes we get angry on our child but that is okay because we know in the end no one could ever love our child the way as we do and most important thing our child don't want perfect mom they want happy mom in modern time our child desperately need a positive influence of mother so that they can recognize their true strength that god has given on them in this book author discuss about some principle which are very powerful and absolutely true and which help us to be a positive mom so let's start it first principle is power of encouragement we should inspire our child we should give them confidence to do something we should teach them successful people are not who never struggled but they are one who never gave up despite of so many struggles we should influence our child with our words and there are some guidelines which make our words very powerful and effective first guideline to make our words effective is be specific we should give specific compliment to our child instead of general statement that fit to anyone who performed well for example you did great very nice super job these are general phrases that fit to anyone who performed well on the other hand wow you did exceptional job of running and blogging i loved the way you painted that picture these are specific compliment by giving this compliment our child will recognize our sincerity because these compliment are meant for them and only for them second guideline is be honest and charismat doesn't meant to be our child feel good its main motive to aware our child about their unique strength so that our child clearly understand who they are and who they are not means we need to give our child realistic understanding of life we all have weaknesses we cannot accomplish everything we are smart in some areas but we are not so smart in some others area means we do not actively point out our child weaknesses but we should honest about it and work on it next guideline is be creative as we know there is so much competition sometime our child get success sometime not means from outside world it is not necessary they will get appreciation but being as a mom we should write special notes of appreciation for our child so that they can gain their confidence and believe on themselves and we can keep these notes on their pillow or in their lunch box or uh, for example we can write god made you special. shall i am glad he made you part of my life you gave your best efforts that make me proud of you i love the way you are and god has given you special talent next principle is power of prayer we should pray to god because there is no parenting books there is no seminar that can give answer to every problem that arises in our child life we mothers are very busy we have bottle to wash we have diapers to change we have toddler to chase loads of laundry to fold boxes to pack or unpack sometimes we feel we are unable to handle all circumstances but when we pray to god we feel someone is with us we are not alone and god give us wisdom strength patience and peace to be a good mother and most important thing god give us all those thing without finding any fault on us next principle is power of good attitude it is more challenging to be a positive mom when we are spending most of the time scolding and correcting our child we have to get done their homework their sports classes their tantrums they are not eating properly they are becoming very naughty along with sometime we have issue with our in-laws sometime we have issue with our spouse but if we are complaining about it and be angry all the time it will fill with us bitterness and it can be possible we can take our anger out on our child because if mother are not happy then how can they keep their child happy and our child want happy mom 
तो इन ऑर्डर टू मैनेज योर एंगर एंड रिमूव बिटरनेस यू नीड टू फॉलो थ्री स्टेप्स फर्स्ट स्टेप इज रिकोगनाइज द रूट ऑफ बिटरनेस If you have bitter attitude for someone or something, first of all you need to recognize it. Second step is change your perspective. Once you have recognized your bitter attitude towards someone, then you need to change your perspective. Means stop focusing on what is wrong. Don't blame on other or point your finger. This is his fault. This is her fault. This is unproductive and negative thinking. It will keep you in prison, and you will. fill with bitterness and it can negatively affect your child development that's why forgive and move on from past bitterness last step is ask god to give you strength and direction ask god replace your hate with love and your anger with forgiveness next principle is power of your example our children are watching our actions and hearing our words every day means they copy our behavior in this book have a example of two mothers they had children of same age first mother looking at mess in play room called her children and demonstrated them how to clean up room her children followed her lead and they finished cleaning up together on the other hand second mother called her children and scolded and demanding them they should do their part they should keep their home clean her children put some books on shelf and put all toys under sofa and said we have done so here we see first mother showed her children example how to get their job done on the other hand second mother used her mouth but not her hand first mother made positive impact on her children life because she is lead by selfless example on the other hand second mother engendering bitterness in her children so here we see both mothers whether they realize or not they are teaching more than just how to clean up play room next principle is power of strong moral standards as we know there are so many negative influences with our children they are likely to see or hear things that we wish they did it there are so many immoral images there are so many corrupting information we cannot prevent our children from everywhere but we can give them foundation of moral truth we can teach them moral values because when we teach them moral value their brain will not affected by any negative influences so teach our child spiritual principle tell them stories of great men tell them stories of history heroes our children brain are like sponges influence by what they read that's why from early age motivate our child to read good books as a result their brain will not affected by any negativity so this is all about brief summary of book the power of positive mom i think you got it and thank you so much for watching this video bye take care